All right, what's up, DevHeads? So today we're gonna continue with the project called Battle of the Mics. This is a game where you uh, battle in terms of singing and rapping via gas. So I hope today to accomplish adding score. But first thing first, let's, let's do a quick recap. Uh, let's open the project, rap battle. Okay, yeah, when I first created the project, I named it Rap Battle, but I'm thinking of adding singing as well. So just to show you, what we did and hit play and it's currently ready for for multiplayer actually so what i did was i uh leveled the sign two stages all a mock-up as you can see there's a timer and i'm noticing now that the timer is not replicated so that's something that we might have to work on today so in order for you to get on stage i made this teleporter which we will change probably make something more something more fitting for this game when you overlap you get taken to a random stage. Same with the server, you get taken to a random stage. Later, we will add more logic where uh, if the stage is filled, the other stage will be, uh, you'll be teleported to the empty stage. So let's start off by uh, trying to replicate the timer. Okay, so to do this, we will have to open up the player controller, that here. Then we will have to open the game server logic, which I made a folder called game logic open up the player state and open the full blueprint editor okay so i did not do anything there i think it was all done in the game and probably that's where our problem lies yeah, this was done via game mode i believe this should be happening in the game state yeah let me double check with my previous projects just to be on the safe side give me a second i'm trying to get a recap here i check one two three okay perfect also as a reminder if you like uh, unreal engine 5 and enjoy these uh, gas unreal 5 tutorials make sure you hit that like and subscribe button please It'll help me out a lot and uh, give me a second while i open up this project i've done using multiplayer yeah, i think i should have placed this uh this on the game state but i could be wrong because the game mode is not shared but as you can see when you hit play you can only you can only see this in the server but not the client and in the game state, I suppose it is shared amongst the server and the client. That's why we're having this bug. So we might have to uh, tweak some things. Okay, well, at least now you know. As a matter of fact, let me just start the process. We already we get a recap. Give me a second. Ah, yes. The timer, the timer was done in the game state. Okay, so now we know. Do not. We're going to try to share variables amongst other, uh, amongst the client and whatnot not do it on the game mode because it's not shared even though you replicate it so what i'm just going to quickly do is copy and paste this event and then we'll just break it here so it won't run i can even break it from here i'll just break both so we're gonna use the event tick because it's a timer again this is not best practice this is just for now paste this here and we'll move this here and then we're gonna compile and get a bunch of errors we got to create these variables on the game state around minutes and uh round second we don't need this so we're gonna just delete it and we need this boolean to uh, determine if the timer has started or not let's compile and we're and our errors have gone away now we're gonna right click here and all the start timer function and let's make it a server call it's already a server call and then we just replicate replicate these variables by clicking on them and then hitting replicate it and with this one round seconds perfect if you want to be uh organized which i do recommend make sure you put these variables in a category by calling it timer by making one by typing timer once you created one category you can go ahead and create you can it saves so you can you don't have to retype the category all the time voila you now have a category called timer and as you can see it looks more prettier and now that we got that out of the way we gotta work on the hud and change the page we've done by going back to the hud by going to the player controller this is a shortcut to take me to where i want to go and then we'll click on the minutes and then we're going to go on the function as you can see right here we use the game mode Let's use the game state this time. Hit game state. And we're gonna delete this and 
cast it to the BP. Just don't add the cast to BP game state. There you go. Drag it here. And let's get the minutes from the game state. Bam. Delete the previous variable from the game mode. And then we're going to add the new variable from the game state this time around. Share everything together. Compile. And now we're going to do the same thing for the second. I believe it was this one. Yeah. As you can see here, you can start labeling and getting more organized, which I do recommend from the start. For example, this is minutes. Let's name this. Uh, I guess we could just, I guess we'll call it get min. And then this one is get second. Best practice. And it's just a good, uh, just good to get used to this organization organizations from the start again let's go ahead and delete this and this and this because we're no longer going to use the game mode we'll paste function okay and then we'll get the mm, seconds get there you go around second let's compile and in theory this should work but you know our programming or visually visual programming is debugging so Cross our fingers and hope this works. And nope. Now let's see why it's not mapping over. This is replicated. Game state uh, and done. We compile it. And I can tell you right off the bat, we did not make the timer set to true. So let's go ahead and bring out that boolean and set it to true. Bada bing, bada boom. Compile, play. And again, we're having issue. D. Then on our advantage, ash set to true with second here let's see if our game state is being called by just calling a print screen directly to the event tech so this is a good thing to do in case you're running into bugs such as this is to use a print for example if play play right off the bat i can tell you that the print string is not being called therefore the game state is not being used so what we got to do now is see in our third person map of the game state is not it's being used and it's not see using the default game state all right so to alleviate that we just click on the drop down and choose our custom game state that we created a few episodes back i'll be sure to link the playlist for the lives uh live playlist you could get so if you want you can watch the previous videos we made earlier anyways give me a second and also, uh, if you have any questions, make sure you, uh, or you not, don't be afraid and just send me anything you like to ask me. Anyways, go ahead and hit play. In theory, the print string should be spammy. All right, got it. Now that we got that, we can uh, delete the game mode because we're no longer going to use the timer inside the game mode. And let's delete the event tick. Perfect. Now let's exit out of there and Let's delete the print string because it was just used as a debugger. On deleting, I'm going to connect everything together and test time. And it did not work. EY. I'm going to say this also got to be replicated, but I don't think that's a problem here. Let's use the print string a bit closer here. I mean, hello, hello, hello. And that's triggering every second. So that's a good thing. But here, if the timer is set to true, it should, in theory, play all this, but let's play it again. That it's setting in this as this like true, true, true. Oh, we forgot to like add numbers to our seconds and minutes. So let's set it to uh, 30 seconds and let's set the minutes to three minutes. I'll play, which is weird. Not even playing anymore. Let's uh, save it because I suspected it will crash. But sometimes dealing with uh, event picks can lead to your game crashing. So best practice, always compile and save. Okay, get back to this. Now that we have a minute to second set, must be a new issue. Let me play just again, just out of curiosity. Can't move. You know what? I think it did not like the game state. Back to the... For now, let's just stick with the game state base. If you guys know what is going on, Feel free to help me out and post something on the comments or chat. Hey, what's up, Sticky Games? Thank you for tuning in. So, get back to this. Give me one second while I'm setting up the chat. Give me one second, guys. Trying to get this 
streaming stuff up and running for me. Testing three. Okay. Stuff up and running. For I see. Base versus solo game. Okay. Game state base works with game mode. Oh, you know what? You're right. Game state base works with game mode base. Oh, you can't mix. Gotcha. But where is this derived from? Oh, okay. 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 I see you guys. All right. So in that case, let's go ahead and create the blueprint from gas. Yeah, I think I was able to do this on Unreal Engine 4. And uh, I mean, either way, it, it is it does make sense what you said. So I'm going to go ahead and create the game mode for gas and call it EP gas game mode for now. And then we'll use this game mode. And now we can start using the main character we made using gas. And we can use the controller using gas. Now we can use the new game state. Hopefully this will work. Play. And yeah, you guys are right. Yeah, I guess you're right. I, uh, but yeah, I guess in the Unreal Engine 5, it, it, will, it won't work at all. Before on UE4, it would. You could mix and match for some reason. Maybe because I was on an older version. Who knows? But thank you guys for <laughs> helping me getting unstuck. And now, as you can see, we do have a timer so let's go ahead and see if these this is going to be replicated yep now let's get the timer working going back to the game state and let's open our previous work by clicking on the game state copying everything we did for the third time sorry about that guys all right i apologize for not reading the chat sooner i'm new to this live youtube stuff so thank you for uh your patience Paste this over here. Okay, I get over here. So now we're gonna create variables on this new game state using gas. Wait, no, I'm using the wrong one. Okay. All right, so let's delete French stream like that here. Now we're gonna make these aided file. All right, let's save and wish for the best. All improver. Okay, I guess there's error, so I'm not gonna run it. That's probably referring to this one, which we don't no longer use. We're going to delete it just to avoid any problems. Exit out of that one. I won't get confused. Let's exit out of this game mode so I won't get confused. So now we're just working with the new game state. Hit play and I'm able to move the character. That's a good sign. Let's see if this uh, game state is working by using the print string. Hitting play. No, we're not on the tick. Let's hit print and this should tick. Okay, we are using this game state. It is active. It's now connected to the tick, which is bad practice. But for now, just for the sake of getting things up and running, we're going to use it. Now let's hit play and it seems to still be working, but we have not set seconds set to zero. So it's not going to move at all. I will set the minutes to two. Hit compile and hit play and we have timer and it's replicated. Now we have timer working for everyone in the server. Just to double check, I'm going to do three players, do three players and voila. Yeah, you can see it's showing to it's showing the timer to the server and to the two clients and it's same as sync. OK, it should be sync because it's being uh, controlled by the server. Anyways, now back to what we were going to do is start working on scoring. So in this uh, game, I want to um, adding add a scoring system for the singers or the rappers, whatever we decide to do but um i want the i want people to vote on the singers on the stage or the performers by either going to the blue side or the right side so at the end of the timer i want the crowd to decide who they're going to vote so whichever uh team has the most player on their side just by walking uh, they're going to win the rap battle or the singing battle whatever we decide again so let's do that by creating an actor. We'll uh, create an actor, blueprint, actor. Let's call it uh, red score. So for now, let's make a collision, a box collision. And when we overlap on this, we're going to give the performer a point, depending on what team color he's in. I'll make this a little big I like that. Compile it. And then on the event graph, get the box collision and click on on begin overlap here we're gonna work on a pointing on a point system so the other actor that over overlaps is gonna be the dp main character 
So if this main character overlaps with this box, we'll have to set up teams via... I want to do it via game state. I guess we can start creating variables, integers, and we'll call it red score. And then we'll create a new, another one for the blue, blue score. An integer, perfect. It's going to, well, once we compile, it's going to be set to zero. Let's see. Okay. So now we can call the, the game state. We got to call the right game state this time. Yes. Perfect. Or to call this, we gotta call it via the game state. Get game state this. So upon overlap, we're gonna increase the red score variable. So we're gonna get the red score variable and add to it. You either type in add or the plus sign or refer that one to it. And then we're gonna get the red score again and we're gonna set one to the red score. Let's keep your notes organized because believe me, you get dirty right right away yeah it might not be the the best way but for now just to get the process started uh i just want to create something and we can refine it as we go the first yeah it's always always a refining thing so let me go ahead and test this out actually do a print just to see if it works all right so it should print out one actually we have to drag out the active first let's put it near the red here then we'll increase this so we overlap the red team stage. Yeah, there is plus plus increments notes as well. I mean, there's some million ways to do these things. You could simply like, like Arthur said, you could just simply hit plus 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 like that. But I like to, you know, show it more visually and heck you could even increment it by like five or 10. If we choose to anyways, let's hit play and nothing gets printed. Let's see, main characters overlapping it needs to be replicated that's for sure so let's replicate these yeah like you said i mean you, we can use the increment node but like i said you could custom change the, the score and we'll not save oh wait we're going for the red thing yeah the, and it's still not showing up see what we're doing first of first thing first let's see if we're actually overlapping with this actor and uh make sure on the box you set the physics so this is probably what we got wrong there you go physics Oh no, collision, sorry. Make sure you set the collision to overlap all for now. You can also do a custom overlap. We don't want to overlap with anything else. We could just select none for all and just overlap with the pawn. That also helps. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, everything comes back to me after a while of not working on Unreal Engine. But anyways, let me go ahead and hit play. Overlap with the red. And nope, still not triggering. I feel like we're almost, we're getting there. Double check with the uh, one of the main character see if it has pawn here just to get a visual so this is a capsule and it is a pawn it's set to block oh you know what it needs to be set to overlap so we go back here to the red score click on the box and while it is on overlap just do overlap with everything just out of curiosity oh yeah it's working maybe that's why i didn't see it on the spread screen i was blending with the red there you go hello hello it's working all right perfect now let's see if the score prints what i'm gonna do is change it another color it was hard to see do a bright yellow and let's keep it longer than two seconds let's keep it at seven seconds hit compile hit play overlap and it's one perfect hopefully if i overlap again it should say two yep there you go score system's working boom three boom four perfect now that we have that done we can create the scoring for the blue team. But for the sake of visual, let's go ahead and cover the whole stage to score to give the, the person performing a point here. But I want to cover the whole area. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Again, this is just a rough draft. I'll refine things later. So don't expect triple A. Uh, don't expect triple A, <laughs> basically. So let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this. And let's call it now oh, that's the portal what am i doing all right let's go to the red score actor and duplicate that call it blue score okay let's open this and what we're going to change here is just the variables this one i just do it from scratch okay well, let's get the blue score blue score. there you go add an integer to it do one let's connect this print string and don't forget to add it back to the blue score 
or else the variable won't change and we have to set it like this because here you're just adding you're just creating a variable you're not setting it back to the blue score so what you need to do is set it back to the blue score so that the blue score plus one can equal the new score okay so let's compile play first of all let's go ahead and drag the blue score now here big over the whole area okay 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 i'm gonna make it too big so i'll just enter it also hitting space will change our rotation to resizing etc it's a shortcut in case you don't know it move that here i guess we gotta make it a little bit not as tall as the other one but i don't expect other players to be jumping that high or getting on the stage okay so let's go ahead and hit play see what happens so theory we should get a point here Ooh. this is a bit confusing so what i'm going to do is change the hut location to the right side just for now by going to the player controller or actually going here the game logic and opening up the hut widget so what I'm going to do now is change the location of this because I, I won't be able to debug well by having the HUD here covering the print string. So now that I move the HUD to the right, just make sure you adjust the anchors to the upper right. Hit compile and hit play. Yeah, it's out of line as you can see. Well, actually, let me see. This is why we missed one and we missed the top one as well. So make sure all three progress bars are anchored to the Right, or else you'll get glitchy, glitchy artifacts. So now, as you can see, it's perfect. And now we can fully test without any weird things. Okay, so for the sake of this test, we're gonna color code the red team score to red. We get less confused. And then uh, we're gonna use the blue. We're gonna color code the blue, blue. We're gonna hit compile. Now we can test without getting confused. Okay, red should be red and blue should be blue. So as you can see, blue shouldn't be too, but I think the reason for that is because we spawn in three four or yeah so for the sake of this s we're gonna not spawn in in the blue side and spawn in the middle where we're not keeping track of the scores as you can see here this is like the score free zone in the middle of the stage okay we're gonna do a test again two i think we're still for some reason we're starting at one i think you i think the variable yeah either way back to the game state and check our variables yep they are set to zero this is not the player start is not overlapping anything again let's test with the red first that works perfectly the blue not for some reason it starts with two what did i do wrong blue should be starting with zero adding zero this was just the print string okay yeah it was just we had the print string set incorrectly you get away from the teleporter and play again one, two, three, perfect. So the scoring system now works. One, two, three. Now let's test this in multiplayer. Create about three players, okay? Now, theory, the client goes to the left side, prints one for the client, for all clients in the server. Now I should print two, perfect. Uh, if the server goes to the right side, it should print one for everyone. And yep, there you have it. Now, yep. We can polish the code a little bit more, but for now, this is a good uh, base. I could do do once, so it won't count uh, more than once. Sometimes you get this weird scoring with uh, with overlaps where it counts double for some reason. And there's a way to refine that, but we'll we'll cover that later on. Right now, I just wanted to get this up and running and displaying it in the HUD. So let's go ahead and go to the HUD and we can create team scores. Uh, for now, let's do red. I'll make it easier. I'll go ahead and make this red for the red team. And I'll make this blue for the blue team. We'll put it next to the timer. So it's asymmetrical. I don't know, for some reason, I like the blue on the left side and the red on the right. So what we're going to do now is bind, create a function for the text, I believe. Yeah. Set it to zero for now. Right, let's go back to our HUD. Go to the design. Let's add a, a template for now, filler, adding zero. And then we're gonna create a binding for the red side. We'll create a binding and set it to zero as well. Sorry about that guys, I had a call. All right, as you can see, it's displaying the numbers. Oh, we gotta add some code to it. First thing first, let's go ahead and anchor these so it won't look misaligned to the upper middle. Hit play and yeah, more more 
looks better than before. Not triple A quality again, but the adding the text there, hit play. So now we could call the game state by clicking on the variable here. No, not by let's get the game state and we're going to cast it to the game state we created with gas the connect this here we're going to call it see this is why we have to organize our stuff from the very beginning you can see it says get text and get text zero so for the sake of organizations let's uh go back to the design and label our text to blue blue score text and on this one we're going to call it red score text there you go now we won't get confused once we're in the graph event graph but so now we know what we're working with here as well let's name our functions it see what i'm saying about confusing but here where this is the red one it red funk for function it blue funk perfect now that we know what we're changing I can go back to the I was working on and we're going to get the blue score and connect this here and we're going to connect this here. Perfect. Go ahead and copy this, go to the red side and we're going to paste this over here and get the reds. red. All right, let's test it. Play and it's overlap. One, one, one and one. So now we have a scoring system. With this alone, we can start, I guess, setting up some type of game. I think for next time, what I'm going to do is upon going to the stage, I'm going to then trigger the timer. And depending how many people are in the server, people can start voting on their favorite performer. But yes, that's going to be, I'm going to work on this on the next time we come. So thank you guys for uh, chiming in. And if you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you want to see the raw version, click on the video to the left. And for more videos, click to the video to the right. And if you really love what you see, support me by visiting my Perkin merch website in the description below.